when you really consider the, the, the things that we as human beings have come up with, let's say the, the Buddhas, uh, Zen, uh, Christianity, uh, Rumi and his uh, philosophies of beauty and music and, uh, and poetry, um, we have all this knowledge. Mm -hmm. we, we have enough knowledge to be able to create a peaceful, enlightened society. Um, all we have to do is put it into practice. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> well, it's, it's already been here. Yeah, it's always been around. Uh, and, and, it, and they're all teaching, all these philosophies are teaching us that the wisdom is within us. Mm -hmm. In other words, our true mind is already peaceful. It's already loving. It's already abundant. It's harmonious. What, what creates the confusion and the misalignment with nature is the ego. Mm. It's the false persona, the, the roles that we play in society, as Jung would say, the, the, the masks that we wear. That's what creates our misalignment with each other. Well, wouldn't you say, too, that on the root of everything, everyone is us? So mm -hmm. there really is no other. Like we're really just having a really like all these relationships, all these people are are really us. Yeah, absolutely. That oneness. Yeah, the, the deeper mystical reality is that because if you go back to Indra's net, every little dew drop is reflecting every other drop in the universe into infinitum. Now, if you look at the reflection of each little drop within the drop it's reflecting everything else mm. so inwardly it goes into infinity as well mm. inward outward infinity and it's it means that your awareness is that infinity mm. it's that cosmic reality mm. and and so we are the source of the universe in that mm. regards um, but we leave that to it's kind of a bigger picture. It's yeah. hard to see that that person is me. Like, yeah. you think about the worst person in the world that you would never want to be like, and that is part of you. That That is like, I think, the wor the most resistance people feel. But we start with the, maybe just people that are in our family that we love but irritate us. And we could start there. We don't have to start with the worst person in the world that we think. Uh, we could start with just people that mildly irritate us and start practicing that. And then you eventually you'll start to see even the worst person in the world could be, you can find compassion for. Yeah. And that is, that's mastery, basically. It's not something that you do right off the bat <laughs> or judge yourself if you can't, or if you're angry or you have all those feelings. The best thing is to have compassion for your own conditioning too, that you're responding to those people based on your conditioning. So to have compassion for yourself when you do that. That, that is the ultimate lesson uh, of Buddhist philosophy. He, he's saying, if you want to save the world, if you want to create that uh, enlightened society, you start with yourself. Mm. There is no way for you to go out there and create peace. Mm. You'll just create more confusion, more suffering. You have to start with yourself. You have to go inward. You have to meditate. You have to find that wholeness within you. Then you're contributing to the, mm. the creation of that enlightened society. Mm -hmm. That is the hardest lesson for us to learn. Again, because we're operating on another paradigm. Consciousness. That, well, we're uh, this, the current society is operating on the materialistic paradigm yeah. that says everything is out there independent floating around uh let's say separate from me separate from me outside of my awareness and buddha is saying no it's the other way around but you have to realize it first in order for you to change it mm. so if we want to create that enlightened society we have to start within mm. looking at our own mind and creating, like you said, that equanimity, practicing that real compassion, that letting go of resentments. Uh, with Loving everyone. And it's like we always say, it's so easy to love people that love us and adore us. 
And it's really challenging to love people that give us problems. But that's the people that need our love the most our, our, for ourselves, because that's really those, they're reflective of the parts of ourselves that we don't love. And we don't see it because it's unconscious. So we, we, we're like, I'm not like them. I'm not selfish. I'm not greedy. Uh, but it's, it's a part of you, and you it, that you're rejecting. And so by loving other people, uh, accept, understanding, conditioning, why they, they act the way they do, and not knowing the cause isn't, they're not the cause of our suffering, that it's our mind that's creating the suffering, is that's when we can be free.